All right, today is March 22nd of 2023, and I've been working, they have not, on my electrical here coming in, uh, DC electrical coming in. And you can see the battery box down there, and I've just got a temporary battery in there. Um, those are some headway batteries, 23 amp hours worth. Um, and that's giving me temporary power in here in the ground we'll need to go through uh it'll come up and go through a a shunt here uh so i can keep track of the capacity or the, the what's left in the batteries um here's my shut off we'll turn that on and so we got power coming for the batteries coming in up here this is a t-class fuse i really wanted a 400 amp fuse in there and i ordered one but it didn't fit you would have thought T-class fuses would all be the same size as what I assumed. But it's not the case. But I had a 300. So I put a 300 amp in there. Going to the shutoff switch. And then we're branching off here. And this is after the fuse. But this is, is, is always on. So this runs to a 200 amp. Oh, I think this is an, is this an A&L fuse. No, this is a... Um, a MIDI or an AMI fuse here, 200 amp, and goes into this block here, which has got three higher amp outputs and then four like 20 amp outputs. These will be for bilge pumps, which would be always on, and these will be for other sort of things that are always on. Uh, it's probably a solar input, maybe a solar input. We'll see. Um, and then whatever else, battery charger, whatever else maybe needs to be on all the time. <clears throat> okay. So we come up here into a distribution bus bar and we've got power coming out to a 300 amp a &L, which will come out here and go into my inverter. And then it also comes over here into a, another MIDI block um, fuse holder and that goes into some 6 gauge, which is the same there. Probably should have actually, this should have been heavier wire probably because it's not, this piece of wire isn't fused then. Eh, it's short enough, probably didn't matter. But anyway, uh, 60 amp fuse, which goes into this box up here into the 12 volt distribution panel for the, for down here anyway. Okay, and on the negative side of things, once again, you're going to have to imagine there being a, a, a shunt in there. So we can keep track of our power in and out. But anyway, so the shunt will go there, come into this uh, bus bar here, and then it goes out to wherever we need it. This one is six gauge, which goes up to the to the panel here. This is just a little just uh, bus bar for miscellaneous odds and ends. You know, maybe the the pumps, whatever, wherever I decide to run the ground there. It doesn't really matter. It could they could just run right off these too, but. Uh, yeah, so we've got fuses everywhere. Everything is protected. Like I said, this wire here isn't real well protected because it's got a 300 amp, potentially 400 amp fuse in there. So this should be a bigger wire. Yeah, I don't know why I don't know why I didn't put a bigger wire in there, but um, it should be enough to handle, you know, this current coming in. Everything needs protected down line. Everything should be protected. You know, in the case here where you could have put your fuse like off the battery bank, you could have put a fuse right off the battery bank, but I, I really didn't like that. So I got, you know, 18 inches of wire unfused right there, which is acceptable, um, but uh, could be better. I mean, and I may someday put a, uh, a fuse right off the batteries. We'll see how much room I got and how things look down there. But anyway, uh, so there you go, um, and I've actually got power going in here now, and uh, there's, I've got this, this breaker here wired to supply power for, for, for the AC panel, for the, for the lights, back lights, um, and it also powers this, this outlet here, which is a voltage meter, plus it's a, USB charging port so yeah so far it's all working and everything is is, is going all right 
Um, you can see I got a little bit of a negative bus bar in here too. And of course, once you get done, you'll have to tie everything up and you know stick it to the wall and make it so it's all nice and oops, I missed. Can't see what I'm doing. But anyway, so yeah, that's all working. Well, what little there is here. Turn that back off. And that battery down there is just for testing purposes. Wouldn't give me enough to get a whole lot done, but uh but it would deliver some amps. Those uh, headway cells are <laughs> capable of putting out a lot of power. You can that's my jump start pack. I actually use I've got jumper cables that hook on there and I actually jump start vehicles with that pack and it works quite well. But anyway, that's what I've been working on. You know, it's probably been a couple weeks, not continuously, but um, just a lot of little piddling around stuff and always constantly having to order something new if it's more crimp fittings, wire, you know, terminal blocks, uh, fuse blocks. Yeah, there's always something to, that you need that you don't have. And the AC side here, this little voltmeter up here for that. And of course we got a voltmeter on the DC side too then. So, yeah, and I don't know if I'll just leave this stuff open or if I'll make a little cover for it to cover it up. I guess if I think I need a cover, I can put a cover on there. I can't see why I would need a cover on there. I mean, that's not giving me an area people are typically in. I mean, you'll have this one drawer here, but we'll do something with that drawer that's so it's not commonly used. And everything will get more ties and uh, wire bundle holders and whatnot to to get everything everything tidy um, but there's gonna be a lot more wires coming in here too and this whole system here is simply for the the cabins down here it, it's not gonna have anything to do with with navigation or or you know the functions of the of the boat that's there's gonna be another uh, DC panel well not an AC panel this will probably be the only AC panel but this will be the secondary DC panel to the one up in the pilot house which will control you know all the lights up there and navigation and instrumentation and chart plotter and you know whatever you need up there radios and so there'll be a whole nother board and circuit up there um, to me it seemed more convenient to do it this way uh, put the things that are going to be functioning down here down here and then just do a, a feed up to the you know we'll do a the fused feed up into the pilot house probably some two gauge wire or something most of this wire is double aught two aught wire and that's what's coming from the batteries i debated using four aught but you know the books i've been reading too they've been saying you don't need four aught uh you know two aught is adequate for what we're doing here so and i've used two aught on, on a lot of things in the past i have hooked up four aught to inverters too but um, geez, it's such a short run and you know you don't have much voltage drop when you're doing really short runs that's one of the reasons too why this is going to work nice back here because it keeps the the wiring run relatively short and back up here up on the wall here is going to be the solar charge controllers and uh, I did some drilling already I had to drill these out all the way down all the way down through and through a two by four that was support on the wall there too. But I got those all drilled out for wires that are gonna go, you know, elsewhere, AC wires that are gonna go out and whatnot. So, yeah, and you can see I got lots of, I got both my hydraulic crimpers out here. There's my big one, there's my little one do the two aught and four aught stuff with this one and the smaller stuff with this one and i got all of my fitting well not all my fittings i got a whole lot more downstairs but fuses and see here's that other fuse block and see this one's not going to fit oh yeah this is the one that came out of there never mind yeah and here's a bunch of wire retainers and um all of, all of the heat shrink and uh and fittings that I'm using, the, the crimp-on connectors, are, they're all double-walled or insulated with the, the hot glue stuff in them. So when you heat shrink them on there, they, they also seal up with hot glue. So, yeah, trying to do it properly, trying to do it right. 
we'll see. But yeah, so far so good.